Doctor, one of the services that you uh, provide in your clinic is chelation. A lot of different ways to do that. What are what are some of the best and, and safest ways to do that? Well, <clears throat> well, the safest, the best way depends on what your goal is with it. Okay. Uh, there's, there's a lot of best ways. Uh, the, the best way I like is to use chelation for its basic purpose, which is to take toxic metals out of the body. We all have an, probably an overburden of toxic metals, lead, cadmium, mercury, three of the prominent ones. If you have too much of that in your body, you may not know it because we're dealing with a level of, of toxicity or burden that is lower than conventional medicine sees. It's not on their radar. Uh, so if you have toxic burden of lead or cadmium, according to conventional medicine, it's life-threatening. You know, it's, uh, that means uh, if you've had an industrial accident or or, or, or you somehow or other got a toxic uh, poisoning of this lead or cadmium. Uh, if, if, you, um, if you don't deal with that, then, then, it's, then it's dreadful. On the other hand, we all have low-level accumulation of lead burden. And mm -hmm. uh, came from gasoline. For years, we had very mm -hmm. high lead in the gasoline. For years, we had high lead in our paint. Uh, for years, we had high lead in our pipes from the solder. So a lot of that has been eliminated, but there's still residual lead around, and there's still lead in the and mercury and the coal that's being burned. And f over 50% of our electrical power comes from coal burning. And, and so when you get that low-level lead, cadmium, mercury in the body, this disturbs the immune system, it disturbs the endocrine system, and we get uh, sickness, we get brain fog, we, we get just, just weakness and pain. Uh, it, and lead has been around for a long time. Lead poisoning has been around. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a fair amount of evidence that the Roman Empire fell from lead poisoning. Did you ever hear that? Mm, no. Well, when they do the catacombs in Rome, they, they find these old skeletons from 2,000 years ago. They're loaded with lead. And where did the lead come from then? Well, lead was a byproduct of the silver industry, and the Roman Empire ran on silver mm -hmm. coins paying their, their mercenaries. So the Roman mm -hmm. allegiance were paid by, uh, by silver. Uh, that left a lot of lead to be used as lining for the aqueducts, where the, the, which brought in their water supply, lining for their pots and pans, lining for their wine vessels, and a product they called sapsi, which is a lead sweetener. It sweetens the wine, and it actually keeps the wine from spoiling. So the Romans were loaded with lead, and l one of the main things you, you get from lead poisoning of that nature is lead encephalopathy. So you have these crazy Roman emperors like Caligula mm -hmm. and Nero who fiddled while Rome burned, and they did all these vicious things. They were vicious killers, v uh, torturers, and uh, monsters. And, uh, and they behave like people who were lead poisoned. Mm -hmm. And not only that, the lead caused all this, all this neuropathy. It also caused infertility. And since the upper class had, had more lead wine, had more leaded wine mm -hmm. uh, and leaded glass, whatever, the, uh, they, they, the infertility ruined the upper classes. So they, couldn't, they, they weren't producing, and the upper classes were dwindling away. And so with, with all that weakness and craziness, the Roman Empire dwindled and were prey to the barbarians.